Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up Kiss Slicer for your printer. So, we'll get Kiss Slicer uh, for your distro, whichever one you're using. Simply go to Google, find it. It's going to be one file. And then we're going to do this because I've done it a couple ways but this way works the best <clears throat> so we've unzipped it, put it in the folder and when you run it the first time it's going to generate these files for you um, I've done it where I didn't let it generate the files and I simply copied them over and it didn't work for me. So after you do that, I'll show you what we need to do. Just go and download Johan's version, uh, his zip, if I can find it. I think. Okay, this is what you want to look for, J.R. Kroll, Castle on GitHub, and you can see he's got these Kiss Slicer settings, so go ahead and download that, and navigate to here, I hate that when it does that, okay, take, take these files and delete them. I don't know why, but if you if you copy his files in first, it doesn't work uh, unless you select them. It's this hasn't been up. Kiss Slicer hasn't been updated in quite a while, so um, so go to your desktop, Kiss Slicer, and extract your files there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and run that sucker. Let's uh, let's make this executable so we'll go to our desktop alright and we're going to type in sudo plus x kiss slicer alright so now it's executable we can double click it if we want to to open it up and we're gonna you're gonna see Kiss Slicer. I've got another intro video, but um, what I want to show you what I change. Um, 0 0.2. It's really hard to get when you're first starting, so go ahead and change this to 0 0.3. Um, it'll make you a lot happier. Change your seam hiding to zero because if you don't, you're gonna get knobs on the edge of your of your print. Um, all of these are fine. Uh, in your material, you definitely want to change for your material. Um, I ended up I ended up with a value for PLA of uh, 200 and 210 for the first layer. Uh, for my bed, I, I'm using 65 degrees. I really want to make sure that stuff sticks. Um, and I've had problems with Kiss Slicer controlling my fan, so I turn it up 100%. <laughs> Uh, for your fan Z, you want to go ahead and change that to uh, two layers, so 0 0.6 or 0 0.7, um, just to make sure that it happens on the next layer after the first two. <clears throat> your Z lift, you need to change that to 0.3 because you've changed your uh, height of your of your layer to 0 0.3, so make sure you change that. Um, actually one thing I missed over here is our skin thickness and what we want to do is we want to make our skin thickness three times or four times our in our uh, our extrusion width so whatever your extrusion width is multiply that by four so 0.35 if I can get this thing to work 0.35 times four so we want to change our skin thickness to 1.4 this is going to change the outside loops and the the number of um, 
solid layers on the top and bottom to it's going to be 1.4. Uh, so that's that's going to be you know four layers that you're going to have on the bottom and four layers on the top that are going to be solid. It'll help your piece stay together a lot better. Um, and this has worked for me really well. Okay, I'm going to look through here and see if there are any other things that we need to change. Uh, trigger to 20. I think it needs to be much shorter than that. So I've set it to 10. Um, I don't think that. I don't think it de-strings enough at 20. I think it needs to de-string uh, for a shorter distance, so I've set it down to there. Okay. Um, the printer, you're gonna wanna go to speed. Everything in here is gonna be fine. It's gonna be centered. But um, in speed, uh, your first layer max speed of 25 is good, uh, but I like to change my limit increase to five just so that it builds up in speed. It's not really a big deal that it's going, you know, 25 millimeters a second for the first, you know, five, six layers. It gets up to speed eventually. Um, you can see right here, it's going to take quite a while to get up to that 75 millimeters a second, but if you have a tall print, this is going to make sure that your first layers are, are nice and uniform so that you have a good platform to build on. Uh, and honestly, this just... This this setting has always worked for me. This is just the way I set it up. You can always set it up to run faster, but I would suggest going slow to start out with. In fact, I would suggest setting this to 15 if you're a beginner. Um, and I would definitely suggest moving your slider the other way. Um, so uh, that's it for the speed. Uh, for the G code, let me go ahead and pull out my other. I've got another. Uh, version already set up and I don't want to have to recall all of this stuff that you're gonna need off the top of my head so let's see <clears throat> I'm gonna go over the G code with you so our prefix is the most important thing that we're gonna do um, M140 S65 I've got everything commented here uh, and I'll go ahead and just cut and paste that and put it in the video. Uh, S65, this, this sets the temperature to this and just returns the uh, control over to the, the G code. So you can start setting your temperature while you're homing and doing your auto level probing uh, just to get that started. And then we go ahead and wait and make sure that we're at temperature. So this will wait until our bed is, or our, our hot end is at 200 degrees and this will make sure that our bed is at 65 degrees before we start printing. Kiss slicer doesn't stop and wait uh, until you're up to temperature. Uh, it just goes ahead and, and feeds out G-code. So uh, the next thing that I have in here is to prime the extruder and the reason I have uh, prime is because in my post fix I have a retract to keep it from dribbling. So G92E0, this sets your extruder location to zero so that when you issue this G0E4 you're actually moving four millimeters. Uh, the reason that you need to do this is that um, it could have, uh, uh, it could say, you know, the extruder could think it's at four millimeters and then you would move zero. It could think it was at negative 13 millimeters and then you'd move quite a long way. So G92E0, reset your extruder and then extrude for your prefix. You don't have to do this, but it's really nice not to have to clean off dribbles all the time. Okay, for your post fix, make sure that your bed is set to zero. Don't rely on your G code to do it for you. I, I made sure to set my temperatures to zero. I home my printer and I do the same thing right here. This is where this is my anti-dribble uh, protocol. So um, set this this resets the extruder to zero and this uh, retracts to stop our dribble. 
And uh, I was having a problem with the motors turning off, I guess because I hadn't set a time to have the motors turn off. So M18 will disable all of your motors so that they're not sitting there running current through them. Um, I'd come back after six hours and, and my motors would be on, and that's really bad because uh, they stay just as hot as they do when they're running almost. So I think that's everything. Um, you're going to want to play with a lot of stuff in here, but I think these are going to be good le good settings for you to start with. Um, if I'll go into support some other time, um, but I think this is a good place to start. So, yeah, there you go. This is how you set up your kiss slicer so that you can start slicing.